Okay, so on this one, we're going to look at the, the throwing of the legs, okay? Going back to that kind of no-gi bullfight variation. And in the beginning, when we looked at this, we're talking about transition to the hand on the hip and the knee. Now, this is exactly what you'd want to do when they try to, try to face you and try to shrimp away from you. Now, however, some people, especially more flexible guard players, when they feel that sort of throwing of their legs, they're just going to want to go with it and kind of turn, invert on their shoulder and almost go upside down for a second, all right? This is a great time for us to get into position to stack pass, okay? And just like with everything else that you've seen, with the Nogi game, all the transitions, I look to transition uh, this pass straight to another attack, okay? Which is going to be the Dars once again, all right? So here's what it's going to look like. So same thing, I set him down, I go to the double ankle, okay? And I look to throw the legs. Now, you know, a lot of people will just look to shrimp away and keep facing you. And that's exactly when we're going to want to use the, the hand on the hip and the knee and do the whole series we've already covered from here, okay? But some people, when they feel their legs get thrown, they're going to churn onto their shoulder and look to roll and bring their legs back in front of you, just like this, okay? Now, at that moment, when they go upside down, I want to be sure to follow them so as their legs come down, I can catch their legs and look to take this right into a stacking position, all right? So I set him down, I throw the legs, look how I take a step. So as his legs come, I'm able to catch them with my hands under his thighs, okay? My hip's gonna need to be low, but my back is still straight, all right? Because this isn't enough. I need to be able to lock my hands together. So once I catch his legs, I need to do one more little pull to bring him up, and I can drop down and lock my hands around his hip just like this. Okay, so let's turn. So I pull, I lock my hands, okay? Now I tie it around his hip, all right? From here, I'm gonna start to sprawl back and use my hips, okay? At the same time, when I'm driving forward, I'm gonna start to slide my hand across to his far shoulder, okay? So I'm on my toes, look where my hand is, and I'm pushing him forward with my hip. Now I want him to feel this motion and roll all the way over. And as he does that, my arm is gonna to continue to come around his neck and I'm gonna to fall to my side, okay? Let's turn this way. So, my arm was already here. I just pushed him over, okay? And I'm just gonna uh, transition this right into the, the sit-through darts that you guys have already seen, where we sit with our leg down and throw our arm all the way through, immediately catching the dars, walk, and then finish from here on the side. So we're bridging some moves together here, okay? We have the sit through dars, combining with the stack pass, which combined with the bullfight pass, okay? Let's go here. So, down, catch, throw, he turns, catch the, the legs, suck them up into locking the hands into a stack, okay? Whenever I drive him forward, look, my hand is going to his shoulder. So as he turns, I'm already sitting, and you see how I palm the head here as well? Shoot my arm all the way in, grab the bicep, sit him down and squeeze, okay? Let's just look at that last part again. Let's see, from the stack. So, from here, as we're driving our hands at the shoulder, watch how I'm sitting with the step, catch the head, and shoot my arm in. So I land right into position to grab the bicep, walk, sit him down, and finish the darts. Last one. Flat, catch, throw, catch, bring him in, clasp the hands, drive. Look where my hand's in position. I sit, palm the head, all together. Lock, walk into them, and there's your choke. So this was a, you know, a great combination of the bullfight to the stack, back to attacking the neck. Uh, you know, always looking to understand the reaction 
and looking for our opportunities to take the submission, okay? And I love this transition of the stack to the Dars sitting underneath, once again, looking to catch them by surprise and get the choke.